What's up dudes? I'm Travis Hughes here with Odyssey BMX filming a 10 spot. You guys ask questions via Instagram on Odyssey's account and I'm here to answer them to the best of my knowledge. I hope I answer them well. Oh, I know that off the top of my head, Justin Spreet. Dude, when we go on trips, we've been hanging out since we were so young, so we have this history together to where when we get together, we laugh hard and for the longest time. Like, we probably annoy people on the trip because we're laughing so hard. Dude, all we do is laugh. Like, we have whatever we're doing, Justin can make a joke about something and no one else will laugh at it, but I will start crying. Like, I can laugh at everything. And it, it goes the other way too. If I say something, he'll start laughing too. And then I laugh and then sometimes the squad laughs too, but I feel like they get annoyed because me and Justin are fucking laughing the entire trip. Like after, after a trip of laughing with Justin, I have to go home and like get my life back together because I'm hurting from laughing. And it's just like, it wears you down. You get spent from laughing. So Justin Spree, hands down, is the funnest to go on trips with. I don't know. I'd probably choose tail whips. Cause everyone can bar spin. Literally everyone. Everyone these days is so good, especially the kids. They literally come out the womb throwing bars. So I feel like, you know, bar spins can get overrated sometimes, even though I do them all the time. But tail whips, I think tail whips are, tail whips are cooler, I think. So I'd probably choose tail whips, but you could, yeah. Fucking, I don't know, tail whips. I feel like there's more than one growing up, probably. Corrali had a big influence on me just because everything he did, he could do normal and opposite, which was insane. I thought that was the coolest thing. And that's obviously influenced my riding because I try to do stuff both ways. Not that I succeed at all, but it happens sometimes. I feel like Garrett, obviously, just because he was always doing the next level shit so long ago and he's still doing it today. So I thought that was really cool. Spreet, Justin Spreet, shout out my dog. Just hanging with him, I've known him since like I was 12 maybe. He was like 16, 17 when we were hanging out. Just hanging out with him, I always thought he was the coolest. Not anymore though, but like his influence is crazy because he can ride anything perfect. And it's just sick watching him ride all the time. Fucking, I'm giving Justin so much clout right now. He doesn't deserve that. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know, it kind of depends on what mood you're in, really. If you're like hungry, hungry, I'd go with the burrito because burritos be hogs sometimes, so it kind of depends on how hungry you are. If you're going for, if you're like, say it's a chill afternoon, go out and get some tacos, look at the beach, maybe have a beer, that's good vibes. But like burritos is like, you're trying to like get it done, like you're trying to get full and get after your day, you know what I mean? But yeah, it depends how hungry you are, I guess. JP knows this already. Yeah, JP, you know, it's Temecula Park. That place was kind of where I was born, you could say. That flyout, okay, you know how everyone says their home park has the best flyout? No, it's Temecula Skate Park. That flyout, dude, that birthed so many people. Dude, I wouldn't be able to do anything without that flyout. I would probably be working a nine to five job if that fucking flyout wasn't there. You could do anything out of that. Whatever you want to do, it's like a foam pit but you'll land. That's the best skate park. It, dude, that, that whole skate park couldn't be there and that bowl in the back with the fly out could be there and it'd still be the best, I don't care. Yeah, it's probably my favorite park because everyone goes there. It's like, the, it was the meetup spot. It used to be like closed down back in the day. BMX wasn't allowed inside the park. So we would just sneak in like every day after school or like catch night sessions when it was closed and we would just fucking have the best time with our homies and that's all you could ask for really. So that skate park is the best, no, like hands down. Uh, weirdest trick I've tried would probably have to be like the bar skin, but the bar skin, the bar skin, the bar spin kick flip thing at the same time. I did it out of the Temecula flyout. Shout out to that thing again. I barely do kick flips, but I like tried it a ton of times. It's so uncomfortable. It's like one of those tricks where you try and right when you like try it, your face goes like this. You know what I mean? Like there's, you throw the bar and do the kickflip and you're just like, you just want to get away from it. 
And I've only done one, and it's the only one I'll ever do. I don't think I'll ever do it again. <laughs> I love AZ. AZ is probably like, like I was like born in the nine, which is like Temecula, Marietta, Lake Elsinore, Riverside area. And AZ reminds me so much of the nine. It's insane. I, dude, AZ is like, there's just, AZ reminds me, especially Phoenix and around that area, just reminds me of like a bunch of college frat dudes named Chad. Like they're all, they all get down. They know what they're doing. It's kind of, it's so similar to the nine that it's like, I'll fuck with it. And the desert, you can ride moto. You can fucking literally do anything there. A lot of people don't like it, but I'm, I'm fond of it. Every time I go to Arizona, for some reason, I end up getting like the most clips, which is, another reason why I like Arizona because the spots there the spots there are blown but there are spots that haven't been ridden or you just need the right spot guide shout out Bobby Canode for holding it down out there but yeah I love Arizona I always have such good time out there that's such a good question dude it's fucking awesome me and Jacob are boys dude the crazy part about that was I did not know he was my cousin until I was like 11 or 12. And my mom was like, you know, you have a cousin that rides too. And I was like, oh, you're lying. And then she was like, no, yeah, he, uh, he has a video on YouTube. And I was like, okay, you're lying to me. He's, he's probably gonna be doing like riding around on curbs. It was like one of Jacob's first videos and I watched it and I was just like mind blown. I was like, what, that's my cousin. And then ever since then, like I hit him up or something and I went to go uh, stay with him in Huntington Beach for like the summer. And we hung out for a whole summer with the common crew and got along. It was so awesome. That's how like we got together is our parents telling us that we that were cousins, which was insane to me. And then ever since then, we've just been boys and hanging out. And I love that kid. And it's crazy now that we're both on all the same teams and both of us probably never thought that would ever happen. Just to have a sponsor is just a blessing. So to have three both on the same teams now is insane and I love the kid. So it's awesome. He's weird too. Don't let that kid fool you. <laughs> Favorite moment in my BMX career probably was getting the bump from AM to Pro for Odyssey when I was 17 because when they put that video out, there was no intentions of giving me the bump or anything. It was like right when my life was kind of, I was growing up, I finally got my license, I finally got my first car. And I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. I was doing homeschool and I was like, dude, I can ride all the time now. This is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. And then right when that video dropped, it said, welcome to pro. And I like, I was on like a kink trip at the time and I went on Instagram and I was just like, what this is insane and then just that moment it felt like everything came together with my career kind of with my life because i was like getting older i got a car and i was able to pay for things and it was just it was just really cool and every time i think back on that moment it was probably like the most happiest <laughs> smith pops <laughs> smith hops Oh man, this is dicey. It's when you do a smith on a ledge and you like pull up 180 or bar or spin out of it. I don't think those look appealing to me, but what else do I say? <laughs> I feel like people get mad at this. <laughs> yeah, we'll give we'll give a quick shout out to Chase D because the way he does smith hard 180s, I think is the correct way. I don't know, it's to each their own really. It's like, I'm not shitting on them. I, or I'm not like bashing them, but I just don't think they look cool to me. And that's my opinion. So don't take this any other way. I'm not hating on anyone. And my opinion doesn't matter. I ain't shit. My least favorite trick to do would probably have to be tables because I'm so bad at them. Every once in a while, I'll kind of get a half decent one, but they're so hard, but they fucking look so cool. Like if I could just fucking, you know, lay a flatty down, dude, I could die happy. You know what I mean? Another one that I don't like watching is pegs to crooks on the same rail get out of here if you do that like that's that doesn't look good like do pegs like gap crook or just crook the whole rail if you're gonna halfway cook it ain't no such thing as halfway crooks you know what i mean 
fucking Eminem said it in 8 Mile. If you're halfway crooked, that means you got balls to send the full crook. So just send the full crook and see what happens. I guarantee you'll land it. <laughs> Alright, time to wrap this thing up. If uh, you guys sent in questions, thank you. If your questions didn't get answered, then that means they probably weren't good enough. So, <laughs> but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later, dude. Peace out.